Well, Comparum, you're the network convener of the network on sociologies of education. Was it sociologies of education? Yes. Yeah. Can you tell me something? What's all this about? What's the main idea that brings people to your network? Oh, okay. Well, it's very important to uh, you know to to think on the uh, you know the title of the network, which is sociologies in the plural and not in the you know the singular. I think it's uh, very important to remind. Because you know this kind of network is not something that is uh, you know competing with other network that we have in Europe, like an uh, European Sociological Association or an International Sociological Association. The characteristics of this network is that it is located within uh, the, the era. So it is basically a sociology which is very much interested in the process of Europeanization of education, and it has an interdisciplinary characteristics. So it is not just you know interested in developing the discipline per se, but in a very open and wide this interdisciplinary uh, 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 environment. What's the hot topics? Yeah, uh, first of all, of course, one of the topic uh, very important is the question of the mobility. You know that uh, you know all across the Europe we have problems with respect to the refugees, but also the migrants and so far and so on. So it is a very important topic. So this is something that it is changing uh, Europe as it is. So it is a very important topic that uh, uh, the network is uh, trying to, uh, uh, you know, to understand more deeply. And this is of course very important. A second topic that the network is very much interested in is in the governance of education in Europe. We are very much interested in this because we try to mix the interest of the sociology of education with the history and with sociology of knowledge, because uh, nowadays we have a problem of how to govern this European space of education, which is basically something which is not related to the national space, but is emerging as something new. So we have to understand, you know, the mechanisms of governmental, the government, or governance of this space, and to understand whether or not the space that is emerging is a livable space or not, meaning that, uh, uh, as it is clear, the sociology is very much interested in inequality. So, the question is, is it uh, uh, an equal space, it gives people uh, equal opportunities, or it is a space of inequalities? This is a very important topic. And thirdly, one of the, the most interesting and raising topics is the topic of the digitalization, because you know, it is, of course, a physical space, but it is also a digital space. So, it is also um, very important to understand how the digitalization is shaping this space. So, this is another important point. Finally, we are very much interested in, in renewing the vocabulary of sociology of education, because mostly, you know, how the vocabulary of sociology was very really much attached to the project of the national states. So the idea was to develop a methodology that can be useful to help people communicate in the transnational space. So it is a really, this kind of network is very much interested in, uh, you know, developing concepts that can be very attuned to the kind of emerging European space of education. I think you've explained to me the European dimension of your network extremely yeah. well. But how, how does this fit in with the wider uh, European Educational Research Association's yeah. mission? Yeah. Well, yes, first of all, because we are very much interested in, in helping the era to uh, give, uh, you know, uh, to develop a, 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 an understanding of the European dimension. But not by, you know, uh, uh, confining, you know, uh, to restraining the discussion of the Europeanization, because of course, Europeanization is not just that uh, is limited to the euro, because we have also to take into account the globalization process. Our network is very much interested in developing and uh, uh, leave open uh, the discussion about what is Europe, what is Europeanization. What is the relationship between uh, Europe, Europeanization, and the globalization? So, would you say it, it, it's this European and globalization, this relationship, which makes your network unique? I mean, there's plenty of organizations interested in sociology and education. Yeah. What's special about you? 
Well, uh, the speciality is that, of course, as I, as I told you before, there, it is not a sort of repetition of the national sociology of education. Uh, we are trying to develop a scholarship, you know, a European scholarship, which is a very, you know, very much not limited to the euro. Another characteristic of our network, it, it, is, it is not limited to the empirical, but is very much interested in developing sociological theory. So I think this is a uniqueness because, you know, we are in a time of the big data. So we are in a time where there is someone who thinks that you can do sociological uh, uh, investigation without having theory. This is not our position because the idea was to have a, a, you know, a, a theoretical understanding of the data. You've got the conference coming up, yes, yeah. every year, conference yeah. where you get together. What do you like about the conference? Well, uh, uh, the conference is very much open. Uh, I, I, I think this is uh, the right adjective, you know, uh, to define the uh, ESA. It's very important to experiment and to, ha to have this openness to different understanding. And so this is, uh, I think, uh, very important. And uh, I think this is uh, a value of ESA. Tell me, think back over the things your network's been doing mm -hmm. in the last few years. Is there one thing which you're proud of? Oh, yes. Uh, two things, I think. One is the summer school that we have. It's a very successful uh, project. Uh, we are doing, uh, at least now we are at the fifth edition of the summer school. So since the very beginning we are uh, very interested in developing a dialogue between the older scholars and the new emerging scholars. We did it from the, the beginning and we hope to continue to, uh, to do in the, uh, the future. So this is, I think, one of the most important achievements of the, of the network. Secondly, the network has been very productive in terms of uh, publication because we have a dedicated um, um, series uh, uh, from an outlet. I can say that we are very, uh, uh, you know, attractive in terms of the kind of research that we are uh, we, we do. And thirdly, I think that we have also uh, developed a good relationship with uh, ERJ, you know, the the journal of uh, European research. Exactly. So it's very important because uh, uh, we di we edited some uh, uh, special issue. So I think that I'm very proud of this three achievement because it uh, uh, gives you the sense of uh, a, an accumulation of knowledge. You know, this is a, a network that is very much for, from the beginning, a focused network. So we started to have a, a framework. We welcome uh, many um, uh, uh, contributions from uh, different countries and also different theoretical uh, positions, as I told you before. So that was a, a very uh, good idea, since uh, uh, in practical terms it helped us to develop uh, a good scholarship within uh, uh, Iran. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you to you for the interview.